hey, did you notice how this question gives us information about x, but then asks a question about one-third of x? I suggest that before we even finish reading the question, we rephrase what they told us so that it's not about x, it's about one-third of x. If x is greater than 3, one-third of x would be greater than 1. If x is less than 100, one-third of x would be less than 33 and a third. Now the question wants to know how many squares of primes could x over 3 be, and we know now that x over 3 is somewhere between 2 and 33, essentially. Squares of primes, so the first few primes are 2, 3, 5, 7, etc. The squares of those would be 4, 9, 25, and 49, which is already outside of our range. So, uh, so what did I say? 4, 9, 25, so, so 3. So x over 3 could only be one of three squares of primes, and that's it. The answer is 3. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.